Hey everyone, and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a popular request and giving our beloved Redmi Note 7 Pro a significant upgrade. We're going to be installing Superior OS, a fantastic custom ROM that brings the goodness of Android 15 to this still capable device. This isn't just any upgrade. So, why should you consider Superior OS for your Redmi Note 7 Pro? Well, it's built directly upon the Lineageo source code. This means you get a clean, stable, and reliable base. The developers have taken this excellent foundation and added minimal, yet impactful, customizations. A huge advantage is that safety net passes out of the box. This is crucial for many of us as it ensures that your banking apps, Google Pay, and other security-sensitive applications will function correctly without any extra effort. Finally, remember that gaps are included within the ROM itself, simplifying the installation process as you won't need to flash them separately. Before we jump into the flashing process, it's absolutely essential that we cover a few crucial points. I strongly advise that you create a complete backup of all your important data, photos, videos, contacts, everything. For this guide, we'll be demonstrating the process using a recommended dynamic recovery. The very first step in the flashing process is to boot your Redmi Note 7 Pro into the custom recovery. To do this, first, completely power off your device. Once it's off, press and hold the volume up button and the power button simultaneously. Keep holding both buttons until you see the Orange Fox logo. Once you've successfully booted into the custom recovery, the next crucial step is to perform the necessary wipes. Navigate to the wipe section in TWRP. Here, you'll need to select Dalvik, Art Cache, Cache, and Data. As you can see on the screen, I'm navigating to the wipe menu. However, I will not be performing the swipe to confirm the wipe in this demonstration because my device already has superior OS installed and contains data that I want to preserve. After performing the initial wipes, the next mandatory step for a fresh installation is to format data. Now that we've prepared the device with the necessary wipes and data format, we can finally flash the superior OS. ROM, I have downloaded the superior OS zip file onto a USB pen drive. To flash from a USB drive, you'll need an OTG adapter. Connect the pendrive containing the ROM to your phone using the OTG adapter. Select the Superior OS ROM zip file. Once selected, simply swipe to confirm the flash. The recovery will now begin the process of installing the ROM onto your Redmi Note 7 Pro. This might take several minutes, so please be patient and do not interrupt the process. After successful installation, tap on Reboot and then select System. Your Redmi Note 7 Pro will now reboot into the newly installed Superior OS. The very first boot after flashing a custom ROM can take a considerable amount of time, sometimes up to 5 to 10 minutes. This is perfectly normal as the system is setting up everything for the first time. And there we have it, the Superior OS boot animation. If you found this in-depth tutorial helpful, please show your support by giving this video a big thumbs up. Share it with other Redmi Note 7 Pro users who might be interested in upgrading. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials, custom ROM reviews, and all things Android.